Uh, today is uh, June 7th, yeah. day after uh, the Allies landed at, uh, in France 68 years ago. Yeah. Take a minute to read the minutes and I'll, uh, I'll entertain a motion when you're ready for May 3rd. Hey, did anybody see those balloons floating up in the sky about 10 minutes ago? It was like half a dozen. It looked to me when I was driving up about half a dozen. Did you see them? They looked like silver heart-shaped kind of balloons floating that way. I don't know. Well, they were pretty high, so they could have started way down the road somewhere. I thought maybe something was going on here at the town hall. It's a party. We've got cars out there. I thought something was going on here. Memory's full. It's playing here. I don't know if Art's done yet. I'll make a motion. Are you done reading? Oh, okay. I'll make a motion. That. <laughs> that we took a minute. Is there a second? Okay, fine. Any changes, corrections, comments? Um, yeah, under the, um, the section finding a fact, the letters. Oh, they got the fix. That's all right. I was reading it earlier. I think you sent a different copy or something. After. Yeah, I read it on. I read it, you know. Um, on the it did look different online. Yeah, the, the the ABCs had started over, and they only went to I. But it's corrected, so I take it back. Oh. Uh, any other changes, corrections, comments? All right, then all those in favor? Aye. All those uh, opposed, nay. All right, super. Good pass. Who's seconded? Oh. Robert, did he? Yeah. Or was he hurt? What do you need? You found your belt? Remember you had said you would like to find an American-made leather belt? Yeah. I found, a, there's a guy who has a leather shop that he makes custom belts and he's in Hollis. So it would be a main-made, American-made leather belt. Cool. I told you I'd find one, and I have. Should have had more faith, right? You should have. <laughs> it just took a little while. Can I have one minute? Virginia says yes. <laughs> Is that on your agenda? What do you mean? I, it's not on my agenda. Um, mm -hmm. I leave office on Tuesday. It has been a delight to um, liaise with you when you have wanted me to, and um, if that was ever. And uh, any questions or needs for me to fulfill in the last three, four days? Can we get a raise? Yes. We're going to double your salary. Thank you. You're welcome. Okay, that means there's two, right, Karen? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right, well, I don't know who will be seeing, you know, meeting with you guys next year and from there on, but I hope that you enjoy them as well. Four, you know, four minutes. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Thank you. 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 The first and only item on the agenda is uh, Stormwater Management Ordinance SMRP proposal. I think it's going to pick up that noise. I hope so. No one does pick up. You were doing that a minute ago. Have you had a chance to read the email from Jonathan Lachman? Mm -hmm. 
So what's our what, what past what's the past experience? You know, as far as these kinds of things are concerned, I mean, oh, they. Uh, they are we talking a lot of money here, or is this well, a lot of money? I, I don't know. Well, it's, if we have zero, then it's a lot of money. Then it's a lot of money. Right. The better question is, is it something we can do ourselves, or do you want to leave it stand alone, or I don't know. And how much do we have anything left this year? Adding up all the expenditures and... Um Assuming JT's bill from the other night was the only thing out there, uh, including office supplies and everything, subtracting his bill, uh, $2,348.02 is what's left on your plan board lines. And now that's all the lines, or that's? That's everything combined of your plan board lines. Yeah, and that's see, the last year. I don't know that we can, uh, I don't know that we can add all the lines together to pay. It's sure. usually a bottom line, as long as you come out. Really? So you're right. not over expenditure your yeah. lines. Well, they may actually over expend your consultant line to show the negative there, and it's still at the bottom line. Right, right, right. So that's all that they're concerned with is the bottom line out of stairs. So what happens to that money June 30th if we don't spend it between now and then? It goes into the general fund. So we lose it. We well, exactly. it goes into the general fund, and we start over July 1st with a new budget. We're never going to be able to. There's only a couple of. Uh, there's you only can't, a couple you can't roll it. You can't roll right. it. There's only a few budget lines in the whole town that that roll over. Mm -hmm. uh, most of the rest of them, all our little agencies and whatnot, they all go to the general fund, and then we start each year with you know new amount. If so, you had a large surplus and you did have this coming up, you could sign a contract with him and roll some over, but. Right. Really wasn't yeah, that. that's what I was saying. Can't we just maybe have them invoice us twice so that you pay for some of it? Well, what was the total on it? Well, he fought twenty five fifty. So we're almost right at it. You'd only be biting into one hundred fifty dollars of your next year's right. Funds. right. That would be all, my only concern is that you overexpended too much at the beginning of your budget. If you're at the end of the budget and you're expending out, then it's not that big of a concern. Mm -hmm. I guess if we want to go ahead with this, what we might want to do is, I guess, talk to the treasurer and make sure that uh, maybe she can work out something with Lackman as far as, you know, they can send us a bill for like two grand or something. Or, I mean, well, how much was this? 22? 25. He could send it for the first, you know, round that he has at 1800 and then. You know, the additional amount could be the one that gets tacked on over. Yeah, but see, that would be, uh, that would be like, yeah, as much of it now, because we don't know what's going to happen next year, you know, what other expenses might come up. Usually, when we deal with Southern Maine Regional, it's because they're consulting with us on some kind of development issue, so the, and the developer picks up the fees. You know, the subdivision guys, they all pick up, you know, whatever Southern Maine Regional charges us to go over the subdivision plans. Or if, you know, somebody else is, is proposing something for the town, and we use them as a consultant, that person, that developer, pays. But when we devise a new ordinance on our own and have them clean up for us or have them even write it, then we pay out of pocket for that. And I don't know if we want to, you know, spend seven or eight hundred bucks the first part of the next fiscal year, and you know, because I don't know what else might be coming up down the road. So maybe if we could get, you know, get them to send us a bill for twenty-two hundred bucks or something or whatever would almost clean out the account. Um, I thought you were hesitant about getting too close to that. I agree with you. No, 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 we may as well. I mean, I the only other thing we have is, is Lachman's bill for the other night. I don't think there's anything else outstanding, is there? Any other, uh, I mean, nothing from, everything from FB is paid up, correct? I believe so. You know, when, she, when, when somebody from them was here a number of months ago, I mean, did we ever get a bill for that? 
Uh, or was she just? I think that was part of the. That was part of the, the, the original deal, all right. Yeah. So as far as you know, we've got no outstanding. No. No outstanding bills. bills. And we still got one more meeting too before the end of the fiscal yeah, no, year. Yeah, well, I think if we if we were going to do something, the sooner we did, it, got the ball rolling, the better. In case there's mm -hmm. some kind of a, you know, an issue. So if if we could maybe talk to Michelle, and see, uh, you know, what's the best way to do this. Okay. And maybe we could talk them down a couple hundred. I mean, I know it's only an estimate, so. You there you go. We'll have you do that. More expensive. Right, right, really right. Good. On the memo, he did charge seventy-five dollars an hour at the beginning, but then when we got our bill from last time, he was charging seventy dollars an hour. So, I mean, it may be something to consider. See if he'll consider. If we skip the money issue, is there any other reason why we might not consider using him? I don't think there's any other uh, organization that would do a better job for less money than these guys. Mm -hmm. And if they they do a, they do a good job. And like he was saying the other night, you know, he does this personally for a handful of towns in Southern Maine Regional. That's all they do for Southern Maine is they do all the planning or they consult with all the planning. Some of the towns they do a lot more. Than they do here in Acton. You know, they write up everything. They have plans. <coughs> you can say it's so, lawyers, they have everything. They have traffic people, yeah. they have everything that's kind of in the state. They've got sort of a person who's an expert. Yeah, right. We've used them before for different, you know, we used the traffic guy one time, and that was a big issue on, you know, something going on in town. So, and, you know, we've got a pretty good relationship with them. And they, they've been pretty good to us. They don't, you know. No, I think they did in West Town and the bill's gonna be smaller. Right. But Yeah, that's he's just, you know, giving us a, an estimate that it'll take maybe, you know, X amount of hours to, to do this. And uh, it's a complicated newer subject too. If it was uh, if we were just redistricting or changing some setbacks, uh, I think we could do it in house, but it's somewhat uh, new technology, a new verbiage, new. Yes, and he may have, or they may have, a better idea. Well, right off the bat, we know that there's some things we don't have to include. You know, purpose and enforcement, because that's already covered. Yeah. And the places where, I mean, he, he gives us a list of a handful of places, either this email or the earlier ones. Right. Where we already touch on some of this stormwater stuff, and that would be maybe a good place to put parts of this in. They would know better what to include and what not to include. We would probably, I mean, you know, there, there's a there's a lot to this, and I don't imagine anybody here, if you were going to try and incorporate this into our ordinance, would say, "Ah, oh, we don't need this and this and this." I would really need at least two or three salient points when. In fact, maybe that's all we need, but, you know, we're no experts. And you, you think that, you know, Forrest Bell came up with this whole deal here and all the time they spent on it, and it turns out adding just a page or two to our regular ordinance, mm -hmm. you know, you, you, we might think that we're, we're leaving something out that needs to be in. So, we could certainly try and do it ourselves if you wanted to, but, If we've got enough of the money, and if you people feel this is an important thing, and we want to get it in here, and like he kept stressing the other night, it's usually easier, easier to pass something new if it's folded into what you already have versus some standalone deal. <clears throat> And to make references to some of the technical stuff rather than take up but pages of writing right, it all right, out. Right, 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 absolutely right. It's totally. See, that's a big thing right there. We may feel weird about, you know, not writing out all the, the phosphate loads, excuse me, phosphate loads for all these lakes. But if you say, well, just, you know, see state map such and such, boom, one sentence, and it's all right there. Because 
everything that's in here, there's only going to be a handful of people in town that it's really going to touch, basically. They're going to have to deal with this. So, and, and you know, they're never going to, yeah, anyway. So, whatever you guys want to do. Well, did we ever decide as a group whether we want to integrate or not? I've always been to the integrating. No, we have. I'm into integrating. No, no, that was... I think that's the big question. It's making sure that the board all agrees that that's the, that's the, the route we want to take. You're going to have stormwater dealt with in two separate areas. If you don't, you're going to have stormwater dealt with in the zoning ordinance. You're going to have a separate stormwater ordinance. And, you know, they're not necessarily going to be integrated. Right. And it's also dealt with in the subdivision regulations. So... Yes, and there may be something in this standalone that doesn't mesh with what we already have in the ordinance. Yeah. That's how it was when we adopted the state shoreland zoning guidelines a couple of years ago. We had the standalone document, and it was just conflicts all the way through. All right, all right. And it took a long time to mesh everything together. Mm -hmm. A lot of trial and error, a lot of uh, hand wringing, hair pulling. So you guys tried to do that Trusting. yourselves? The, Not us. Where you integrated some other group or whatever the yeah. group was at the time. Tom, it was the comprehensive planning group. Yeah, and we composted it all in house. Yeah. yeah. And Tom Cashin actually. Yeah. Was was the on, he was the one who was on all of both committees. So. Section six or five or six though, so the regional did right of the zoning ordinance. They did the base they, of it. Yeah. Yeah. yeah they, they did the maps. Them. They did. They walked us through the process in the beginning of the comp plan. They were with us. They held our hands. They to really, to Texas. Yeah, yeah. They were really good. So anyway, uh, who else wants to throw their two cents in? Gavin, you've been awful quiet tonight. You're speaking for Tom tonight too, so there's two of you. Oh, yeah. <laughs> and Yoli, I don't know where Yoli's at. That's a very neat speaker for Tom. <laughs> So where do you stand? What do you think? Um, I think that part of the idea of having it as a separate document was uh, if it was going to be incorporated town-wide. I remember JT saying that for town-wide it would make sense for it to be a separate document, um, separate ordinance. Mm -hmm. But since we're just looking at the shoreland zone, it would make more sense to roll it in, so it'd be easier probably to put it the section that deal with shoreline zoning in, in RP. So you think it makes sense to I guess if we want to you know focus on the shoreline zone then it makes sense to roll it in. I mean I think the bottom line is you, you want to get it passed. I mean it's important enough to get it passed. And he did make a good point with that, you know. It just seems to me that if this is a better way to get it passed, then that's by itself, a good reason to have it done. Arthur, any thoughts, comments? Well, I, I mean, I'm generally in favor of having it be town-wide. It doesn't mean that it can't be eventually. Well, we could retain this <clears throat> document as well. For well, right now, right now this document it still just deals with shoreland and RP and business B, I think, commercial B. This yeah. Is, this doesn't do that ordinance. Right, right but it would be similar if it was town wide. I don't see what changes there would be. In exactly. There. Well, that was the that was the point JT made. It shouldn't be that if we want to add, make it town wide. It shouldn't make much difference to him. No. In terms of what he's putting in, you know. Yeah. We shouldn't, because that's just the line up front where we define <laughs> what because we cover. We do have some standalone stormwater areas in this, you know, that aren't just dealing with uh, shoreland. So Pr pretty much this is this is going to bring the the practices, the mitigation practices into the the zoning ordinance and the subdivision ordinance. That we're in those areas where it's Stormwater's already dealt with. That's all it's going to do, right? Right. I think originally the intention was to mitigate it right in with the zoning ordinance. This was just the draft, basically, and they were running out of time. 
and in uh, haste they just wanted to use it as an appendix to the back of the ordinance and, and get it into the ordinance that way, but to mitigate it in where it belongs is the best route, section by section, putting it where it belongs. Are we comfortable with the motion to go ahead and do that? Try and see. I make a motion that we integrate it and that for now we're just doing the shoreland stuff. Um, I mean, we're doing the ordinance as it applies to the shoreland and section B, whatever it is. Wherever, right. wherever stormwater is in the. Wherever. Yeah, in the ordinance. Yeah. For now, and then we can see how that works. I mean, just thinking of the hills on my own road, I sure hard to agree. <laughs> RP and yeah, Commercial B District, those are the three that uh, nice. can apply to. Uh, is there a second for that convoluted motion? <laughs> I kind of I'll second it. Any further discussion? If Southern Maine makes the document much more simpler and easier to read, it would be much easier to implement town wide too. Right. Right. Because you know, we all live in a watershed, it's just whether we're at the top or the bottom of it. Right. Some of us are closer to water bodies mm -hmm. than others. But everybody's got run right off. Especially yep. after this last week, uh, two weeks of rain yeah. for crying out loud. Yeah, I mean the, one of the biggest sources of pollution is running off the road. The roads themselves, yeah. Um, is the motion to fold it into our regular zoning book? Was the motion to accept this proposal? Yeah. Not both. Did you? Oh, you did? I didn't hear you say that. I thought SMRP. Oh, wait, okay, so we're doing it in two Because at first you were, t well, that's what you were talking about so first. You said first we ought to sign, do we want to even fold it in? Right, okay, and so, so that's, my what thought, is, that's what I thought this motion was. It right. And it was seconded by Bob. Any further discussion on this? Does this make sense? All right, then, if no further discussion on whether we should fold this into our regular zoning ordinance or not, then. Everybody gets the vote tonight, and it's legit. <laughs> All those in favor, aye. 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 All those opposed, nay. All right. Did you raise your hand? I can. I mean, it seemed like everyone was into it. Yes. Is, is Gavin voting for you only or not? <laughs> Doesn't make any difference. He can vote I'm for voting for myself tonight. Right? <laughs> oh, yeah. But he's voting in place of. He's not voting for myself. And Bob's voting in place of the other missing member. So now I'll move to accept the proposal put out by. Um, S, whatever the initials are. S S M R P C. Um, it takes a while to learn that. <laughs> if I ever do, yeah. Yeah, and I guess I'm not going to put any qualifications on that. I'll leave it at that. I move that we, we go forward with that proposal. <clears throat> Is there a second? Yes, any discussion? In terms of the budget, um, how's this going to work again? I think we're going to try and see if we can't get them to bill us for a majority of it. See what we can legitimately do. The more money that we can spend now, before the end of this fiscal year, the better off we'll be next fiscal year. And what constitutes spending the money? Having the bill in hand or voting the... Having the bill. Having the bill. Invoice. Because I think that's the way that they do their budgeting here, is if you have a bill that's, that you owe money on, it's set against whatever you're in that fiscal year. You don't get to... If you haven't paid it, you don't get to ignore it and put it off till next year. I don't believe it work that way. So if we get a bill, the money that we have in our account is encumbered to pay that. 
We can't not pay the bill until next year. It counts as this year, so this money is encumbered. And what we'll try and do is see if we can't encumber whatever we've got left over this year to spend this year. If we can't do it for whatever reason, then we won't do it and we'll just, you know, we'll just won't use a lot of legal people next year. Who knows what? Maybe if we tell them what we've got left, we'll just say, sure, that's it. <laughs> we are limited to. Yeah. We'll, get, we'll get some way to talk to some of the people. We do make manual payment. Yeah, it, it covers dues or what's yeah. called, what the yeah, but that's for the whole town oh, using their services. So fifty bucks. <laughs> you know, that's the selectmen using them and um, the, the board of appeals and whatnot. So other town agencies also use something made from time to time. And resources. So, any further discussion on uh, going ahead and having some of the main regional fold this into our? Zoning ordinance? No? All right, then all those in favor, uh, you all know what the motion is, right? All those in favor, aye. Aye. All those opposed, nay. It's a done deal. Is, is there any way of. Uh, oh, now! <laughs> is there any way in this process of some participation? For what? Before you get a final. I mean, they're gonna. They can. Yes. Uh, the last thing says about two. Uh, two, two, meetings. Two, two meetings and redrafting. Right. Right. Ten hours for that. But for I mean, can they? Can, can they can probably submit. <laughs> <laughs> we just have to redraft. We do, and we can look at a fair chunk of it, really. Yeah, that, that's without them coming to a meeting. Yes, yeah, we can certainly get something from them to look at it first, their first draft. Uh, see where they've plugged these things in, see what they've dropped from it. Make sure that we're happy with what they've dropped. And uh, then we can give them our notes back. And eventually we'll have them come here, when, probably when they get closer to finalizing it, I would think. Because we've all been doing this long enough. This isn't really rocket science. We can handle this. You know, uh, it's only our two cents worth. We don't have to have our hand held all the time. But eventually, we'll have a meeting with them just to finalize everything, and then uh, and then it'll be done, and we'll have our public hearings go to town and see what happens. So, do they, as a practice, submit a draft to whatever group they're working with before? If we want them to, it, it depends on what we're looking for from them. If we're having them draw up something, if we want them to draw up a stormwater management ordinance like Forrest Bell did, they do pretty much what Forrest Bell did. They, you know, write something up, give it to us, and then look for our feedback. <coughs> as far as folding this into our zoning book, uh, there's going to be some things that they're, they're taking out. Obviously, the purpose of this and enforcement, there are no big deals. But some of the things that they address, you know, we may have, you know, we may not want them to take everything out, you know, whatever. We may, we may have more discussions just because they're going to pick and choose, you know, what they think is going to make sense of this. Oh, thanks! <laughs> Chicken skin lotion! <laughs> <laughs> so it, you know, it depends on what we have there. As long as I get so you know, credit. You have to decide if Bob or Gavin doesn't get the vote now. <laughs> oh, I should uh, abstain. We're already doing two votes. We're pretty much done. Uh, yeah, we're pretty much done. We've pretty much done. We've decided to. Fold the the stormwater into the zoning ordinance, and we've decided to have Southern Maine Regional do it for us, and see if we can't work out something with them money-wise. What? She should know how much we have in the budget. Oh. So. 
So anyone else have any comments or questions? Did I answer your question at all, Art? Yeah. All right. I just didn't want to, you know, have them show up with some document. Or, you know, and think that they're done. Have work and, and then, I mean, because it's, you know, it's costing us 75 bucks an hour to have years. I know, I know, I know. So if we can get the, the draft and get some feel for the draft before we have them come. We'll talk to them when we get... Now, it'll be the selectmen that sign for it. We can't, you know, we don't, uh, can't sign for stuff, you know, as far as the contract or whatever the, we're going to do with them. But we'll be able to throw our two cents in and say, you know, give us the first draft. We'll go over that, see what's what. And then if we need you guys to come in and talk to us when we get towards the end of it, then fine, we'll set something up. And they're not, they're not looking to, spend Tom's money willy-nilly either. Because they know that everybody's running a tight budget. So. We'll send them an electronic copy of the ordinance, a word doc that they can work with. And yeah, probably. Well, yeah. I don't think they have a... Of the latest one? one? Yeah, that they can Maybe work not. with. Maybe not. Just the PDF version, so... Mm -hmm. Then they'll be able to uh, strike out and underline the document and highlight it. And oh, 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 that? Oh, yeah, so we can actually see the words. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. All right. Um, well, that's pretty much it for that. We're all. Anyone else have anything they want to talk about with stormwater ordinance? Does anyone else have anything they need to bring up? Or like to bring up? Nobody's going to say anything. Town meeting is June 16th at night. And? Right. Don't forget the vote next Tuesday. Tuesday. And Tuesday, no. That's it. No one's got anything? We're history. Good night, Cable Land. <laughs>